Federated Farmers have today released the results of their latest banking survey. To tell us more about this is Federated Farmers Hawke's Bay President Jim Galloway. Thanks for joining us, Jim. Good afternoon. Uh, so broadly speaking, what does the survey tell us about Hawke's Bay's farmers' relationship with their banks? This is a nationwide survey, but it basically means that there's a lot of farmers that are not happy with the service and, and the cost of lending that they're getting from their banks. So what's causing this dissatisfaction? Uh, there's been quite a bit of pressure from banks put on to either go interest, um, principal and interest or repay loans or not take out more loans, uh, especially in the current financial it is tough on farms to make money and some that have had the damage from Gabriel have had extra costs, so they may need of access to more finance. So it's been pretty tough to get a lot of it. And I think part of that comes from some of the reserve bank rules that have been made to for risk and also the capital that banks have to hold for business loans. Right. So what are farmers needing from their banks? Uh, good service is the first one. Uh, having access to people, access to banks, and um, so they can go and, and access the, their products easily. That's the, that's the first thing they need. And then some of the interest rates they're getting charged because of the um, Reserve Bank, they're 1% or more or, or up to 3% above uh, what a householder could get on a floating or a over overdraft rate. So that cost is a major cost when you've got you know, some people have got millions of dollars of loans and it adds up very fast, as everyone with a loan knows. So yesterday the Reserve Bank announced it was keeping the official cash rate at 5.5%. What does that mean for farmers? Like everyone else, we're hanging out for that when it starts dropping to get a bit of good news because it's holding it is, is one thing, but it needs to drop for everyone to have a bit of relief from those interest rates. And, and that's putting a lot of pressure on businesses with a higher cost and individuals as well with any anyone with a loan. So on top of this, what impact will the rates rise from the Hawke's Bay Regional Council be having on local farmers? Um, that's another one. It, you know, just increased cost and it's 20%. Hastings District is 20 odd percent around there. So any cost going up by way more than inflation is, is having a major negative effect on, on uh, profitability and costs of people. So yeah, you know, it's just making it extra harder work. Is there any solutions that you can see in the short term coming along? It's it's a hard one because some of them are, are central government controlled um, reserve bank initiatives or the reserve bank controls them. Um, some of the banks, I don't know how keen they are to increase their book on rural loan lending. So, and it's very hard for someone new to get into the rural bank business because of the uh, capital they need to hold. So it's not really open to good competition. So it makes it even harder to get good good rates and, and good service from banks. Yeah. So what other pressures are there on farmers at the moment on top of the rates, on top of the banks? Just product prices mainly, especially for sheep and wool. Yeah, you know, they're just poor prices making it really tough. And a lot of other products have gone up by quite a bit in, in um, costs. A lot of our inputs have gone up. You know, fertilizers had a massive in increase. Uh, fencing products, just like everyone, everything everything's gone up. But with farming, the in inflation rate was about almost one and a half to double what the CDI was. So, um, you know, that cost pressure. You know, the margins have got thinner and thinner. So it's making it even harder. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to me, Jim. I really appreciate it. That's fine. Thank you.